140. Where's all the other so called big names? The other belt holders here. You're going quiet. Grow let's get it on. I love this energy, man. And you know, I, I I love everything about this energy. He's calling him out, and I agree with him, you know what I'm saying? Do your thing, brother. Do your thing. However, I'm gonna tell you what I don't like. I don't like the fact that he's looking like Edward Norton on American History X. Huh? Before the transformation. I don't fing like it. <laughs> if I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm boasting. If I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PGNG. I'm praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, man. Y'all know what time it is. The doctor's in the house, man. So check this out. We got some news coming from Liam Paro, man. The man down under. And when I say the man down under, he's really the man right now. You know what I'm saying? He's doing his thing at 140 pound division, you know, ever since uh, he went in the backyard. Uh, uh, of, of the Puerto Rican fighter Subaru Matias and spoiled his homecoming and won a belt at 140 the IBF belt man he's been doing his thing and you know it's so funny because I I, I, lo I love this energy you know what I'm saying I love this energy because I was always big on Liam Paro I remember when his fight with uh, Montana Love I was like man it's gonna be a difficult fight it depends on how he looks on this fight that let me know how much I could believe in him and he went and won impressively you know I remember last year it's archived on my channel go check it out I said man you know, from that moment, I said, man, Subra Matias going to have a big 2024. And sure enough, he got lined up with Subra Matias. And everybody was like, man, I don't know. I don't know. It's going to be easy money for Subra Matias. But I went on a, went out on a limb. And I said, man, I think Liam Paul is going to take it. And sure enough, he did, man. So now, he not only did he, did, he, did, he, did he beat the boogeyman, he's proclaiming that he's now the boogeyman. And I think that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Check it out right here. Where's all the other so-called big names? The other belt holders here. You're going quiet. Let's get it on. And I, I, I love this energy, man. And you know, I, I, I love everything about this energy. He's calling him out, and I agree with him. You know what I'm saying? Do your thing, brother. Do your thing. However, I'm going to tell you what I don't like. I don't like the fact that he's looking like Edward Norton on American History X. Before the transformation, I don't like it. <laughs> But no, all, all jokes aside, man, do your thing, bro. You know, I, I think that um, this is good. And I do agree with him, man. You know what I'm saying? There were so many people saying the 140-pound division was hot, you know, and it still is hot. You know, but where are the champions at? You know, we got Devin Haney. You know, he's going through his little situation. That was a f the unfortunate thing, <laughs> the situation that transpired with uh, his opponent, Ryan Garcia, cheating. We do not let people who are on the juice discuss real athletes. That's all you know um causing him to, to, to step away from the sport understandably so so we give him we're gonna give him a little grace give him a little pass you know what i'm saying but then we also have teofimo who's the longest reigning champion at 140 is a self-proclaimed takeover right you know the, the the person that we expect to be a pound for pound talent right so if his name's a takeover and you're gonna take over boxing how about you start by taking over your division i'm just saying you know so so i do agree with liam par why not fight him and then also of course you know in the guy that's taking uh, 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 Devin Haney's uh, place right now as Devin Haney's a champion in recess. You have Alberto Puedo. He's supposed to be fighting Sandor Martin, but, you know, there's no news on that. So I would like to see these uh, title holders uh, sh sh show something, you know, and um, let's let's see what let's see what they got, man. At the 140 pound division, it's, it's it's a it's a division that that can get unified. It's wide open, and yeah, let's let's see, let's see what happens. And then, not to mention, we have El Rayo Valenzuela who upset Isak Pitbull Cruz. You know, he can get it too. But there's some speculation about him potentially fighting Tank. We'll see how that goes. I'm not sure if he's actually going to fight Tank or whatever's going to happen. But he's he's a newly crowned king, and give him some time to 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 get his stuff situated. But in the meantime, in between time, he should be thinking about potential unifying against Liam Paro. So I like Liam Paro's chances to uh, uh, unify. Um, you know, there's been speculation that he could be fighting Devin Haney uh, for Devin Haney's uh, 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 return to the sport uh, uh, fight, you know, which I think that'd be a tough fight, a rebound fight. I actually would lean towards uh, Liam Paro, even though they have some sparring history there. And I think Devin Haney could win, don't get me wrong, but I also see a path of victory for Liam Paro as well. So especially with Devin Haney coming off of uh, the situation he was in and looking for a rebound fight, I think Liam Paro is a very 
tough task um, under those circumstances. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, shout out to Liam Parr. I like everything about this video, talking trash, uh, and, 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 and make sure his name is out there and staying relevant and don't go under the radar. And, and you know what I'm saying? Because you'll be a, a forgotten king at 140, and that's, that's what they are, man. All the champions are kings, so we got to respect them as such. But I will say this, though, man. You know, for those of you, I ain't going to go too far in history, but, you know, um, outside of the aboriginals, you know, Australia was historically utilized as a penal colony. And Liam Paul with his new do you got, you're starting to look like a little criminal. You know what I'm talking about? Tighten up. But yeah, I appreciate y'all rocking me as always, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think about that in the comments. Do you think uh, Liam Paul has a chance to unify against any of the champions? What champions do you think will beat him? And um, also, if he was to fight Devin Haney, how do you think that fight would go? I, I think Liam Paul has a great chance to unify. And I, I think Liam Paul has a great chance to beat uh, uh, all the other champions at 140. You know what I'm saying? And if he fights Devin Haney, I think that's a tough task for both sides. But given the circumstances, I'm... I'm, uh, I'm I'm leaning towards Liam Paul, but like I said, I've been, I've been rocking with Liam Paul for a little minute now. So y'all, remember, 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 before y'all go, man, and after y'all drop them comments, remember, with God, we can do anything without God or nothing. The doctor's out. Peace. From the hood to college, both worlds, they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold, we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.